Your friends are scrolling through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to Yara's Clips. What happened before that accident and during that accident? If you could explain it in detail. Of yeah. course, I want to know what happened after. Sure. But I felt like this is something that should be on the Indian yeah. internet even more. It was after a program, uh, you know, we did with a group of people and we were driving. And the person who was driving me was a pretty competent driver and he was going a little fast, you know. He loved fast driving. And I was sitting right next to him. And this was on the Eastern Express Highway in Mumbai. When was this? Sir? This was in November 14th, 1993. So as we were driving, we were in the lane which is right next to the divider and we were going at high speed. Then there was a truck which was moving on the left side slowly ahead of us. But typically in India, when drivers sometimes see a gap between dividers, they suddenly feel, oh, this is the place to take a U-turn. So, you know, this driver was going and suddenly he saw a gap in the divider and without giving a warning, he just turned. And we were going at high speed. So that moment when the truck turned to the right and I was sitting in the Maruti van, <laughs> which does not even have a bonnet. So I say it's designed to take you to the spiritual world, you know. So I was sitting right in front. And then it was like in next five to seven seconds, we were going to hit because there was no way you could put the brakes. It would not have worked. Anyway, the person who was driving me did his best slammed on the brakes but in spite of the best efforts as we were moving towards that truck I could see myself inching towards death it was like direct vision but interestingly although I was chanting for last maybe an year before that for last one year and I knew that at the last moment I must think of Krishna and chant his names. But I was externally chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. But within my mind, I was very traumatized. And I could see that anytime death is coming. So I could realize at that moment that it's not so easy to actually internalize whatever practices we do, unless we go through an extensive period of practice, meditation, support, community, and it's not like an overnight thing. So then, boom, the vehicle hit against the truck. I My face went straight ahead. The roof caved down. All the glass... The, the glass pane in front smashed and my whole body was filled with the glass. And then some other vehicle stopped by nearby. Somehow I survived. I saw that the driver was trapped between the steering wheel and the seat. But because he was so thin, others could pull him out. And he survived. And I came out. And the car which was standing right next door, I just looked into the rear view mirror of that car and then I saw my whole face was filled with blood. It was like a horror movie. And so the first thing I, you know, thought was, okay, I'm alive, but let me now check whether I can speak. And then I said, Hare Krishna. So I could speak. But then the whole body was filled with the blood and the glass pieces and everything. And the people were kind enough to put us in a vehicle and take us to the nearest hospital. And then they took me inside an operation theater and for over three hours, bringing out all the glass pieces and everything. And then after they put the whole bandage around my face and all my body and everything, when next day I went to the police station because they wanted us to go and identify the vehicle, 
the policeman said, okay, um, looks like whoever was in the vehicle must be dead. I said, no, I was the one in. Said, oh my God, it's unbelievable because the way the vehicle is smashed, it's a miracle someone survived. So it was at that moment, it struck to me that my life has a certain purpose because for all technical reasons, I was 22 years old and at the age of 22, my life was practically finished on the road in an accident. But I have been saved. So that was like a eureka moment. How do you remember the accident in so much detail? You were conscious through it? Well, you know, everything happened so quick. Yeah, I didn't lose consciousness. But you remember exactly what the impact felt like? Well, you said explain in detail. So <laughs> I'm trying to I'm remember. I'm sorry I'm taking you back there, sir. <laughs> there is no presence of God in that moment? There is. Because at that moment... You know, I'm chanting, but within my mind, I'm not able to really capture the presence of Krishna because my mind is still completely overwhelmed with fear. So therefore, one is hearing, one is speaking, but the other is fully realizing. So that was the moment after that, I thought that, you know, as far as my life is concerned, it's already over on the roads here. I should be dead. But I've been given another chance. So, Krishna has protected me, given me another chance. So, let me devote my life for the one who has saved me on the highway. Let me use this opportunity to show millions of people in this world the highway to the spiritual world. So that was the transformative moment for me. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this. It's TRS Clips.